The Volkswagen Group has committed to the Paris Climate Agreement to be carbon neutral by 2050. I'm here with the Mayor of Okotoks, Tanya Thorne. She's going to go through some of the initiatives that the Town of Okotoks has taken to uh, go towards carbon neutrality and sustainability. Thanks Alex for having me. Um, so we also have made that same commitment to be carbon neutral by 2050. We have a climate change action plan that we implemented about three years ago. We are dealing with our element as the organization to move to carbon neutrality. And we've got lots of initiatives that we've done, whether that's through solar, some water conservation, um, some biodiversity projects, um, moving to electric vehicles and encouraging that in our own fleet. Well, Tanya, I'm very excited for you to show me around, go through these uh, initiatives and efforts. I'm going to give you the keys here for all electric Volkswagen ID4. Perfect. We'll and this is my new car, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work it out at the end, yeah. <laughs>
So the uh, environmental learning center, is that for like schools to do field trips and stuff like that with? Uh, yeah, we do a lot of different things. So the environmental education center that's um, here, we have um, events that we host. So we do like nature Fridays, um, we do school programs, we have green living workshops. So different things for our community to participate in, you know, how to do zero scaping, how to oh, plant yeah? a garden, lots of different um, programming through that. And then we do our conservation programs. We run some of those through here oh, okay, as well. Cool. So. And so if a uh, citizen of Okotoks was wondering, what are some small little tweaks that they can make in their day-to-day -day life to uh, you know, reduce their carbon footprint? Yeah, um, I'm a big believer in the green bin. So organic waste, uh, you know, when it gets thrown into your traditional garbage and goes to the landfill, it's huge carbon output. Um, but if you put it into the green bin, it can be repurposed and feed into that circle economy and reduces the carbon outputs that we've all that we're creating um, you know that's one if you're in the market for a new vehicle <laughs> look at ev uh, you know I, I don't like to dictate what people should or should not drive however um, i think that's an opportunity to you know if you are looking to make a change look at what is out there there's lots of new technology that's out there that has come a long way mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we have another program that we'll be launching here at the beginning of next year around being able to put residential solar panels on. Okay. Um, you know, so those are some little things, you know, but I think understanding what carbon footprint is, is the first start, yeah. right? So education of, of where are you impacting in that chain, you know? We have a no idling bylaw by -law in our community. Mm -hmm. That's part of the reason why. Yeah. kind of freaky how it's already running when yes. I get in. <laughs> so it's already on. Yeah, it's yeah, on. It's like on and going. I've done nothing. I just opened the door. Yeah, as soon as you hop in with the keys, it fires everything up. And then, yeah, when you park at work or home too, and you step outside with the keys, it automatically locks the doors behind you. bit of a useless stat but I was looking up with the range of the ID for I think you go from the north side of the south side of Okotoks um, I think it was 80 sometimes on a full charge so <laughs> you might only plug it in once a week yeah. <laughs> yes yeah yeah no I I can have a tank of gas that'll stick with me for a couple of weeks <laughs> typically so we're going up here to Beatrice Wyndham Park it is a constructed wetland basically sequesters about 8,000 um, tons of carbon per year um, in this park and uh, creates a great natural asset for the community. Um, it's very busy um, walkway yeah. um, during the summer but yeah this is one of our initiatives and again um, has an impact on carbon and creates an amenity for our community. So yeah, it's just right like in that, that vertical like that, exactly. See, I'm learning something new here. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. All ready to go. Perfect. Well, thanks very much, Alex, for taking oh. me for a drive today. I really and appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for taking me around, showing me uh, you know, all the environmental initiatives that the town of Oktoks has done. What did you think of the ID4? Um, it, you know, it certainly drives nice. It's quiet, um, which I, I love uh, the concept. It took me a little bit that I don't have to press anything to make it start. Yes. I don't have to do anything that <laughs> it's already running and it shuts off automatically. So that's, that's a great thing. Um, but yeah, it's just definitely a smooth ride and it's, it, it certainly is quiet. Uh, it was great to, uh, yeah, get you behind the wheel. And yeah. just so everybody knows, we've got a dedicated ID4 test drive demo here and they're available for purchase today. Perfect, and you've got public access uh, EV chargers. So if anybody's looking for a supercharger or a charge two, you can swing by Volkswagen and, uh, um, you know, plug on in. <laughs>